All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? Today, we're going to do another whipping chat here. All right, working on Diamond Art Club's Frosty Forest Friend by Donna Gelsinger. All right, snowman hanging out with some pals. All right, so it's a square, 19.7 inches by 26.4 inches, 50 centimeters by 67 centimeters, 38 colors, and two ABs. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, 125 and 133. All right. Anything under DMC code 150 is considered an AB for Diamond Art Club. All right, there we go. All right, now it's working on sleeping semicolon thing, 814 here. All right, let's dive right in. A scarf, basically, I think. Yep. <laughs> Spilt this tray like the other night. <laughs> Just all over the table. <laughs> oh, this is having a time. Oh boy. I just laugh at this point. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Yep, yeah, have this weekend off, so... Just see how much I can uh, plug through this. Okay, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, getting closer to finishing this section. It's the snowman's part of the snowman's scarf and the deer that likes staring straight into your soul. Jeez, <laughs> oh, just a time. All right. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, and I have this tree to do as well. And the deer's face. <laughs> oh, just one fun thing after another. But yeah, I'll just work on the scarf for now. Yeah. As always, just see what we can do. Just hanging out. Really no rush for me to finish this canvas or anything. Or just hanging out casually. Uh, nothing too exciting, I really, uh, sun's out today, hurts the eyes. <laughs> it's been like overcast the past few days, it snowed a couple times maybe, but yeah, it's still cold outside, it's just brighter. <laughs> so, yeah, take away you can get, I guess, but yeah. Great. What's the next? Scarf is tricky, there's a couple different shades of red in here. But it is manageable. I'm 
seen like a new release for Diamond Air Club probably coming out this Saturday. There was like sea turtles in it or something. Some sort of ocean scene. <laughs> I don't know, I just saw it on uh, Instagram I think or whatever. For the few couple minutes that I was just perusing it. Oh, looks cool. But... I don't know, for like 50 plus canvases released like in that holiday period and then they're still releasing more. <laughs> it's like, wow, who will go? <laughs> they must have a lot of artists on bank or something for Diamond Art Club. Or they just plan these releases somehow. Oh, no big deal. I'll, at least there's like variety and stuff to choose from for from Diamond Art Club anyway. I have seen like Dream Root Designs releases as well. But I think that's all like I really follow for like diamond painting. <laughs> like on social media. <laughs> like those two actual companies. In other words, I just see different canvases, like Treasure Studios Arts, based on what people post. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure Treasure Studios Art is uh, on Instagram or whatever. <laughs> I, I just don't see them as often. No, those two are stuck together. No big. I just like seeing any canvas really. <laughs> it's either being started or being worked on. Yeah. I don't know. Eh. Any stage of any canvas, uh, it's just fun to see. Oh, part of the hobby. See what other people are working on. <laughs> I'll get here. <laughs> yeah, the other day I just like like leaned like I put a finger like on the side or something. I like just tapped it, and it just totally overturned on me. Oh jeez, just. Right about when I was like ready to go to bed. Yeah, but Trey was just like, nope, not today. <laughs> You're going to clean up some drills. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tossed a tray of like a blue that had way less in it. On a whipping jet. <laughs> it's like just laughing for a good chunk of it. <laughs> I just laugh at this point because yeah, I did it myself. It's like, it's all you can do. It just, just be thankful it was just add color. But.
Yeah, it's got a boundary here. Just don't want to be diamond painting everywhere. So just gotta be wary of like this line of drills here. <laughs> so I don't go just absolutely crazy. I like finishing a section before going on to the next. <laughs> so it just stresses me out if I like see an uncovered space in a section. Or I miss a color or like miss a symbol of a color that I've already done <laughs> every time. <laughs> and symbol just magically shows up right when you've poured the drills for the next color. Jeez. Oh, I'm sure it's happened to tons of people. I think it's just like a standard diamond painting thing. <laughs> you think you're done a color and then all of a sudden there's like a a spot that's just a symbol that just escaped your sight that shows up. Pretty typical. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh man, I'm tapping the side. Maybe it's this red, I, I don't know. <laughs> Just... It's like there's quite a few of this color in the tray. So it's like... Tray's like, yeah, this will make a bigger mess. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh boy. Like so tempting to do that chunk, but no. <laughs> it too carried away. Section by section, and I'll finish this. Eventually. <laughs> this kinda teaches me patience. Just doing section by section. I'll get done eventually, it's just... <laughs>
if you want <laughs> Will I be able to keep the tray upright before finishing this color? <laughs> the terror. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, yes, yes. Boop. Okay, is that all for this color? Be very thankful if that is so. Okay, a little scarfy scarf here. Traffic's making noise. Okay, A14. Okay, hopefully that's all she wrote. fun here and R by the looks of it okay uh, 666 six, six. not on this one. Oh dear okay uh, R 666 six, six. okay yay nice vibrant red here okay gentle <laughs> Gosh, another red. <laughs> Sploosh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, plastic against plastic. Yum yum. Okay. Oh. Shaky shaky. Spill. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Not as many R's here. Oh boy. Okay, nice bright red here for the scar. R666, okay. Yeah. We're good, we're good. Let's fill this scarf in nice and nice. Oh dear. Cat hair. <laughs> My cat's not even allowed out here. My word. <laughs> Came from somewhere. Alrighty. Oops. <laughs> oh, there we go. Almost there. Oh. Okay, uh, I guess it works. Yeah, the scarf has some like shadowing in it. Kind of give it that textured look. Oops. 
Poppy Snowman Scarf. Intense. Pretty uh, valuable looking scarf and top hat the snowman has on. And a corn broom, broom to boot. Oh boy. <laughs> This is a very fancy snowman. Happen in time. Alright. That's all for the I don't not seeing any more. Oh, psych. Yeah, down here. So silly. <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> There's some more horror here. Here we go, just along the side here. Okay, there we are. better. Oh, hurry, hurry. Or... Okay, there we go. Maybe. Okay, six, six, six. Oh, squeaky, squeaky. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Nice. There we go. All in there. Okay. Seal her up. Oh, squeaky, squeaky. Okay. Uh, Alright, this pin looking. 648. Ah, it's right on top. Perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not coming off. No spill. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Don't even. Literally, just a few spots here. Okay. Yeah. Just this stick. Is that sticking out, or is it? I don't know anymore. Uh... Okay. So. Yeah. Literally, just like a couple spots here. No, it's when I thought it was a couple. It's uh, in the tree here. It's uh, a lot more than I expected. Okay, good thing I put it in the tray. Good thing I poured what I did in the tray, I guess, then. Okay, no big. Okay, yep. Okay, let's go like all over the place here. Just, it's a really obscure symbol in this section. Okay, but yeah. Oh, geez, I'm just like seeing it here and there. Okay, but for sure. Yeah, it's the deer's part of the deer's face here, and it's just. Okay, cool. Yeah, and a lot of bits on the tree here. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. 
It's getting there. Yeah, it's filling in as section, sections usually do. Hopefully your uh, projects are coming along. Hopefully your hobbies or crafts are doing look good. Yeah, one or two drills is still progress. Or one or two stitches. I don't know if you're just do a bit of work on something, craft or a project. Yep, it's still progress matter what. That's how I like looking at it. Yeah, just work at your own pace. Be comfortable with the... Uh, as long as you're personally comfortable with uh, what you're doing with your craft. And you are set to go. Yeah, gotta keep the enjoyment factor in while crafting. This will just seem like a chore. <laughs> Something you'd have to do instead of something you want to do. That can be rough. <laughs> when uh, yeah, the fun gets drained out of it. Yeah. There are some stretches where, yep, it can be a little, you know, there might be a tedious section you're working on, or, yeah, there's rough patches in some projects for sure, but, yeah, take a break, just uh, spend a few minutes on project. Yeah, just go do something else for a bit, and then maybe come back or just try again the next day. Yeah, don't feel you just have to finish something or do something just because it's there. Sometimes you just need a break, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It'll finish eventually, it's just... <laughs> Yeah, it just might not be today. So, <laughs> oh, let's keep plugging away at it. We'll just keep hanging out. Yeah, just keep doing whipping jets when I can. So, all right, but we've hit half hour. So, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile name. Uh, my Facebook business page, Echoes of Color, and my Instagram. That's basically uh, my social down below in the description under the video. So I just post updates every now and then on the channel or about the channel. Uh, as if I finish this section, for example, or I just decide to change something on the channel or show uh, the next whip all kitted up after I, I've done an unboxing. Yeah, and then just that kind of stuff. I don't update like all the time, just every now and then. So, all right, take care, all the best, and uh, see you again. Bye. <laughs>